everyone, it's Lisa. Hello, happy Monday. I got I got the makeup on today, girls. Look, look. I got the orange on the eyes. Full face of makeup. What did I use? I used the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk palette. I love this palette. I love the, the pinks and the oranges in here. Um, oh my lord, one of them just fell out. I'll just show you. Is like one of the rare palettes. It fell out again, you dirty bugger. One of the rare pal palettes that I uh, actually kept when I had BoxyCharm, um, Ace Beauty, really nice and pigmented. I had to really work to blend um, some of those colors though, really, really work to blend it. But it's pigmented. It was just a little bit work blending today. I don't know if I had enough, um, what do you call that stuff you put on your eyes? Primer. I don't know if I had enough eye primer on or something, but it, it was a little bit of a B-I-T-C-H to blend today. But, yeah, so I was like, I I'm feeling like I want to do some orange. I even kind of like did like the purple that's in the, in the palette to do kind of like a little bit of an eyeliner. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what's on my eyes. But anyways, we got Ipsy. We got a regular Ipsy bag. Let's make sure we got everything that's supposed to be, to be in the bag. I also have top box. I'm going to unbox on Wednesday, maybe, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, my Ipsy Plus is here. It's at the warehouse. I use a shipping company to get Ipsy Plus because you can't get it here in Canada. So hopefully I might be able to go get that tomorrow. We were supposed to go get it today, but everything is shut down here today in Toronto. It's a snow day. Well, Toronto School Board didn't call it a snow day, but every other school board called it a snow day except for Toronto. Funny, right? Anyways, um, Madison was like, I said to Maddie, I'm like, it's up to you. You go online or you go back to sleep. And she's like, I'm going back to sleep. And I think Sivana eventually went back to sleep. But Sivana's very like, school is, you know, everything and she won't miss a day. And no, no, I have to go to school. So... She went to school. Anyways, what do I have in here? I'm gonna pull out. Um, I guess I, I had some add-ons. I did. I bought three add-ons this month. One of them is not mine. Um, so I grabbed this. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas, Silk Canvas Filter Finish protective primer I grabbed that for miss Marcy um, is it in the bag because I know I had got one before yeah so this is in a bag and everything I'm not gonna bother opening up the box but this was a great deal if you like this primer I actually have it in a mini somewhere uh, where where are you right here so this is the Tatcha Mini Primer. That, that one there is full size. I think it was for sale on BoxyCharm for, was it 18 US dollars? I think that's what it was, 18 US dollars. Somebody let me know in the comments down below because I forget. It was definitely 18 US dollars, right? For this primer, because full size this primer is like, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks Canadian. So it was a great deal if you like it. I got the little mini, I bought it a long time ago. Um, I use it, not, I mean, I probably had it two years now so I use it not often but I mean there's enough gone from it right but this here little thing was like I don't know 27 bucks at Sephora something like that so Tatcha we know is an expensive company so if you can get anything and add on from Tatcha from Ipsy you're doing good because you're saving a lot of money I wish wish they would come out with the full-size Tatcha Dewey primer oh my god or the full-size um Tatcha liquid canvas primer. I love this primer. This is my favorite primer um, This one here is better if you have like oily skin or if you have a lot of pores I like this one because it's nice and dewy and hydrating um, So this is my favorite primer of all time Tatcha The liquid silk canvas and I usually buy these off a of Facebook page for like five six bucks if I can get it for that price Sometimes it's probably seven or eight so yeah, I grabbed that for Miss Marcy, and then this was another add-on, and it's the IBY Highlight. I don't have this one. I love IBY Highlights. Absolutely love them. I have um, 
24 karat magic i have that one i have prosciutto or prosciutto whatever it's called and this one is called maldives look at that isn't that a stunning highlight color absolutely love it and remember you can always use this as a shimmer too right it'd be a gorgeous eyeshadow shimmer beautiful highlight color love that love ivy highlights and i was like oh i don't have that one so for three dollars awesome buy gonna last you forever like one of the my highlights i think i've had now for like two years and it barely looks like it's been used but i use it all the time and i also grabbed this for the first time and i know we've seen this as an ipsy add-on or as an ipsy choice a lot of times and this is the first time I grabbed it, so I'm, I can't wait to try it and see what I think of it. It's the Pure Lease Serum BB Cream. There's an SPF of 40 in here. That was a $3 add-on. I got the shade Light, so it might work. It should work, right? I'm like a light medium um, throughout the year. In the wintertime, like around this time of the month, I'm definitely a light, you know, it all depends, I guess, on how dark the light medium is, but that's what it looks like there. Oh, I think that'll work. I don't know. I don't know. They didn't have like a light medium, I don't think. So we'll give it a shot. See how I like it on my skin anyways. You know, it is a BB cream. I like, you know, some extra co coverage. I don't think I would do well with a tinted moisturizers, the ones that I've tried. I like a little bit more coverage than a tinted moisturizer um, would give me, but I haven't tested all the tinted moisturizers out there, and I know a lot of people love a tinted moisturizer. I just like a little bit more coverage than the ones that I've ever tried before. So those were my three add-ons, which, not bad, right? I mean, that's a great deal for Marcy, this here Tatcha um, primer. What do you call it? The Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective primer, blurs, primes, protects, color corrects, anti-aging. Love Tatcha. Just wish it was a lot cheaper than what it is. All right, so this is the bag for the month of January. It's a really cute bag, right? Isn't that cute? Nice bag. Um, I really am not a, a tie-dye person, but this here to me, I'm going to call it a rainbow bag. I think it's really cute. I like that. feels nice and, you know, it, it doesn't feel like cheap. Like some bags we get from Ipsy or other companies that send out or used to send out bags like this. Remember that Lip Monthly? Oh my God, that was terrible. The bags that would come for Lip Monthly, they were so cheap and nasty and all the products were cheap and nasty. Is that company still going? Listen, if you're new and you see Lip Monthly and, you know, it's like a free bag or whatever, don't. Just don't. It's a terrible company. I'm telling you right now. The products that go inside the company is really, really cheap. Um, the worst customer service. You, you'll probably, I bet you if you go on their website right now for Lip Monthly, people are probably still waiting for November bag. I Seriously, it, terrible customer service. Um, and the products are cheap. Like, just don't do it. It's not worth it. It really is not worth the hassle. Worst company out there. Anyways, what did I get in my bag? Let's see. Um, I got this from, from a more Pacific. It is the Essential Cream Fluid. Is this a moisturizer? I'm assuming it's a moisturizer. You know, I got moisturize. Like, the only thing I have ticked off on my profile for this bag, it's all makeup. <laughs> all makeup. The only kind of, if you can call it skincare, would be a primer. And then hair care and brushes. Um, and nail polish, which I have to do my nails. See, I was picking my nails off last night. Can you tell? So I have to do my nails tonight after I fold up some laundry. So that's what it looks like. So this bag is like $20 and change every month Canadian. Um, this is a moisturizer. It's 5 mil. It's got green tea extract. Use it morning and night. I might give this a try, actually, and see what I think of it maybe oh you know what i can already tell that it's not enough for my dry skin that's crazy right i can already tell how how um liquidy this is that it's not going to be enough for my dry skin i need a bit of a thicker 
um, moisturizer because my skin is really dry. So, but you know what? Madison might be good for this because she's got oily skin. So, something for her to try, something different. I will try it tomorrow morning or afternoon whenever I get out of the shower and see what it's like, you know, just to give it a try. But I got a feeling that it's not going to be thick enough for my dry skin. And my skin, like, screams at me and says, hey, you need more moisturizer. Like, that's not enough. Like, this is not working. It just cracks and it burns my skin is so dry and especially in the winter time it's crazy dry it's dry in the summer but in the winter oh my god my back is a mess all right what else we got what else we got in the bag did they give us a card i don't even have a card oh yes i do hold on oh i don't like it when they don't um send you the card with everything on it and the price and stuff the Happy Skin Cheat Sheet. Cheat Sheet. Okay, and they have the Glam Bag X coming in February, um, which we can't get here in Canada, but I'll use a shipping company. I might get it. I've been thinking about it. Um, I like the eyeshadow palette that's going to be there, but you never know what you're going to get, right? So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see about the Glam Bag X. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get that or not. <sighs> Baby boo. Next, we have... This is a hair mask. Not mad at it. I love a good hair mask. And I love when you get hair masks in here and these things. But they have this thing on it. I love that they have the... Um, what do you call that? A lid? A cap? A cap? I think in Newfoundland we called it a cap, or do we call it a stopper? I think in Newfoundland we called it a, a stopper, but up here they call it a cap. Something like that. Anyways, I love it when you get this kind of packaging and there's a cap on it. Like, nothing better, right? And this is a rose quartz hair mask. And the great thing about having the cap on it, I can probably use this maybe three times, get three uses out of it. Um, again, it's always crappy when they don't give you the price, which is kind of baloney. All right, let's, I just want to see what it smells like. And I wonder if it's going to look like one of those peel off masks. Oh no, it don't. It's white. It's kind of creamy. Okay. So it's like kind of creamy. Honestly, <laughs> I literally was thinking that this was going to look like one of those rose colored peel off masks. Oh, it smells nice. Not to, it actually, I mean, because uh, I'm not a big fan of the smell of roses if it's really strong, but this is nice. This isn't strong. It isn't like crazy strong, so I like it. But if it were like um, that By Terry lip gloss that we've gotten a few times from either Look Fantastic or Glossy Box, that's just too strong for me. But this is nice. I don't mind this at all. So I'm excited to try that. I don't know if I get three uses out of it. Ah, oh, you little dirty buggers. Look how much is in the package. Like, literally here. So you're only getting this much. This much right here. Dirty little buggers. What a ripoff, you know? This is supposed to be 30 mil. That's not 30 mil. Ripoffs. Anyways, um, it doesn't even say on here how much it would be. Crackers. Okay. So we got that. So this, like I said, I do have hair masks ticked off on my profile, so I can't get mad at that, right? Then I got, ooh, from Complex Culture, which I actually, um, for my blush and my bronzer today, I use my Complex Culture little palette, which I love this. Um, if you ever see it for sale as an Ipsy add-on, which is how I got it for, I think it was like 12 bucks, $12 US. The bronzer and the blush, I absolutely love this. I have this on today, and I love Complex Culture brushes. They're the bomb. I'm telling you, I think I have, I have most of them, although they did come out with a new set of brushes, and I haven't seen those on Ipsy, I don't think. But their eyeshadows, I do have one eyeshadow palette from Complex Culture, and I was... I was like wanting to try Complex Culture eyeshadow so bad because I love their brushes, right? 
and I got one and I got this one and I'm going to tell you if you see it this is the only one that I have this one is called full time eyeshadow palette um, right ideal for light to medium skin tones there's not another name on it that's what it says anyways but I mean the colors are gorgeous but the pigment is just not there not there if you're just a beginner and you're just learning makeup and eyeshadow and you don't want to go too heavy on your eyes and stuff like that okay maybe but the, it's just the pigment once you blend this in it's it's not it looks great on my hands right now but believe me when you try it it's like come on build build like you want to pa pow you know it's a very neutral um not blinding not pigmented eyeshadow palette um anyways so i was a little bit disappointed about that because i was so excited to get it but one of the things i got in my ipsy bag this month was a quad a complex culture quad and we're gonna see how she works i'm definitely gonna try this out um, maybe on an upcoming video i'll try the bb cream i'll try the highlight you know um, and I'll try this complex culture quad. This is called the Rosy Outlook. I'm praying that the pigment is going to be there. And I don't know, maybe I got these. Do I have these colors in here? Let's see. Nope. Maybe one, kind of. No, actually, I don't think so. So these are new colors, which is good. Um... This one is like a, okay, a very light matte. And then you have the dark pink matte. And you have kind of like a purple shimmer and a pink shimmer. So, let's see. I'm going to give it a try. Who knows? They might have upped their formula since the very first palette came out. But that's what it looks like here. So hopefully, you know, when you put it on your eyes, it's nice and pigmented. It's not going to give you the issues that that palette was like. And I know so many people were so excited the first time we can get that as an add-on. And then we were a little bit disappointed. But they've since come out with other palettes that's got darker shades. So maybe those are a little bit better. Um, I don't know. If you've gotten another Complex Culture palette that's got darker shades in it, how is the pigment um, is it there? Is it like ba-boom, you know, like, it, or is it weak? Because I found the pigment in that palette to be very weak. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've gotten other Complex Culture eyeshadow palettes. I love their blush, love their bronzer, their highlight is really good, love their brushes. Um, I do have their concealer, but it's not my shade, so I did buy a, a mini size concealer off a of Facebook page that's sent out to me so hopefully I get that soon I haven't checked the mail today it might be there who knows um, so I'm gonna give the concealer a try but I know a lot of people said they really like the concealer right but their eyeshadow or that one anyways just didn't do it so I'm gonna give that a try at an upcoming video and see if they you know fix the formula of their eyeshadow then I got Oh, yay! I got another sponge. I got the MOTD sponge. Now, I know I like... Didn't I get a sponge last week? Last week. A couple of months ago. Didn't I get the sponge a couple of months ago in my bag? I, I love the Koji. Is it Koji or Koki sponge? That's a really, really nice sponge. I like a nice soft sponge. Um, Hi, baby. I got it. <laughs> You had a what? I had a huge nosebleed. Oh no. So it feels nice and soft. I'll give it a try. But didn't I just get a sponge like that and give it to you? No. I thought I did or I gave it to Lorraine or something. I'm sure it was only a couple months ago that I got a beauty sponge and I thought it was this company. I'm going to have to go back and look. But anyways, if you like the Beauty Blender sponge and you got this one and you've tried it, let me know what do you think because I love the original Beauty Blender sponge. So let me know if this one is nice and soft like that one. And I like to tip 
whenever you, if you love a beauty blender and you like the original beauty blender because they're very expensive at Sephora, they're like 26, 28 bucks, something like that for one, right? But Christmas time, they always come out with a great special. And I got, there's three sponges and a soap and this is how I wash my brushes. I love the beauty blender soap. You can get um, just a, a regular size or a small size like that for 12 bucks at Sephora. I love this soap. I use it all the time. I always make sure I got an extra. I just opened up a new one last night, I think it was, or Saturday night when I washed my brushes. Yeah, Saturday night I washed my brushes. I opened up a new one, and um, I always make sure I got an extra. But this was a great deal. I don't know. I think it was like $45, something like that, to get the soap and three blenders. And you really should throw at your blenders after three months. So like that's the, a year, I have a year covered, right? So I usually try to always in the beginning of the year at least have three. Um, so then I know Sephora is always, usually when they have a sale, you can get a, 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 the original Beauty Blender for 20 bucks. Like I said, if you like the original Beauty Blender, there are other brands out there that are much, much cheaper. That Koki one, Koji or Koki, if you see that as an add-on on Ipsy for three bucks, grab it. It's a great blender. It's really nice and soft. And I'll give this one a try. Oh, hold on. Anyway, this is what I picked. This is my choice. I picked the Sophia and Maybell Small and Mighty Extreme Volume Mascara. So I love the Sophie and Maybell Cream Blush. It's like one of my favorite blushes. I think probably my number one blush that I received last year. I absolutely love that blush. Um, I'd love to see them come out with other colors that you can get as an add-on for Ipsy or as a choice or just pop in my bag. I would love that because I actually love the blush. And I'm like, okay, well, I like the blush. So, and I didn't need any other mascara, but there was not really much um, that I considered a choice for me for January. And I don't remember what I chose for February. Oh, that's coming up, actually. February Choice will be on the 24th. Um, usually comes out around 9 o'clock. I think it is 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I believe the Choice comes out. Is it 9 or does it come out like 7.30? I can't remember, but it's in the morning anyways. So hopefully they have some really good choices. And I thought I redeemed points for something. I guess I didn't. Like I legit thought that I should have been, I should have had something come that I redeemed points for. Let me see. Don't you hate it when you go on that Ipsy app and it takes so long for it to upload? You go from one page to another. Anyways, this is what the mascara looks like. Okay, that's a nice wand. Interesting kind of wand. Like, is it round all the way around, or is it, like, flat? My eyes are not working properly today. But I'm definitely going to give that mascara a try. Now, I find with a new mascara, to really know if you like it, you got to try it at least four times. Because new mascaras are usually really wet, and they just get messy. So, when you get to use um, a new mascara, usually use it at least three, four days in a row, and then on that fourth and fifth day, um, you really get the feel of the mascara. It's dried down a little bit, so it will either enhance your lashes or it's just poop, right? Uh, but I find that with new mascaras, you really do have to give it a couple of days. I thought I redeemed points. I guess I didn't. Hmm, maybe it was, um, maybe I didn't. Okay, so I guess I didn't redeem anything for points. But, out of my bag, points I would give it, well, like I said, I have hair mask ticked off, so I'm happy I got it. This is probably the only thing, you know, like, I don't need any more moisturizer, unless you're Tatcha Dewey. <laughs> but, um, it's a great brand, Amor, Pacific, Amor Pacific is a really, really good brand. Um, I think it's in that mid-range of like Tarte prices and um, like Too Faced prices, stuff like that. So it's a really nice, respectable brand. So I'm not mad, um, but 
I wish I could have gotten something else because they had some really good makeup items in the bag this month and I didn't get it. And I just dropped the hair mask. Oh, well. I'm happy about the mascara. I have to be because I picked it, right? And, I mean, it's eyeshadow and it's a quad. It's not a single eyeshadow, which is great because it bothered me when they would send you one single eyeshadow. And that's what they used to do um, a couple of years ago. I used to get a single brown eyeshadow, I swear to God, in my bag every second month. Uh, like a dark brown eyeshadow. So often that I, I, in my profile, I ticked off that I did not want any more eyeshadows. It was either uh, from the bomb, usually. <laughs> I would usually always get an eyeshadow from the bomb, just one. So I like the fact that they're sending out quads, because then you can do something with it, you know what I mean? So that's cool. And a beauty blender is cool. So is it my favorite bag? No. For me, did they start the year off with a bang for my bag? Not really. They didn't. It could have been better, right? Um, but I'll use this. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try this and I will use the, the hair mask, you know, so at least I'll, I'll use like four products out of the bag. But it could have been a little bit better. So it wasn't a bang, but it wasn't a complete disappointment either. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I also wanted to say, um, oh yeah, I was going to do, I had asked Miss Tracy today which video I should do because I was like, oh, which one do I do, Ipsy or Top Box? And she's like, do Ipsy. And I'm like, okay, so hi, Miss Tracy. Um, here's your Ipsy video. And I also want to say thank you so much, Miss Tracy. She sent me a beautiful gift today, and I'm really grateful. And it was um, so unexpected and such a beautiful surprise. And uh, I'm just very thankful. And um, you, you made me cry. And if I talk about it anymore, uh, I'm probably going to cry more. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. It was so kind and so sweet of you. Anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow. It's always, like I said, the middle of the month I make videos because everything is coming. I get Ipsy Plus, Top Box, Naughty Knickers should be here soon. Um, and maybe that's it. I don't think I get anything else. Oh, look fantastic. It's somewhere. I don't know where it's at. It's on its way anyway, but I might not get that until February. Anyway, have a good day, everybody. Bye.